Hey, do you want to learn how to make some cake pops? I'm going to give you all the tips and tricks on how to make the perfect cake pops. Let's get started. Hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is Brittany. I'm going to be the one showing you guys how to make these cake pops. So I'm going to use Funfetti cake and I just follow the instructions on the box, but I also add milk instead of water. I also like to add an extra egg than what it requires on the box and that helps it taste even better. Okay, so now I'm going to line the pan with parchment paper and this was a really cool hack because I was able to use all of the cake instead of cutting out the edges like I did in the last video. And this way I was able to get about three more cake pops than usual, so I really recommend that trick. Okay, so I baked the cake for the recommended time and now I'm going to remove the cake from the cake pan and then we're going to crumble it up into little pieces. Okay, so now that the cake is evenly crumbled, we're going to add in about three-fourths of the container of frosting and start with that. And we just want to make sure this is a good consistency to form a cake ball. If it's kind of falling apart, you're going to want to add a little bit more frosting. Okay, so this is a perfect example of how it should look to know when you're ready to start forming the cake balls. So I like to use this tool to form the cake balls. I like it because it helps me keep the balls the same size and so I add extra cake mix and then take out the excess. So once that step is completed, I like to take the ball out and then re-roll it. This helps it not fall apart. Um, when I use it the way I'm supposed to use it, the ball would just fall apart when I'm dipping it, so this helps it stay nice and firm. Okay, so now it's time to add the sticks to the cake pops and I just went ahead and added some candy melts to a bowl and microwaved it for about 30 seconds to a minute. So now you're going to dip your stick in the candy melts and then go ahead and place it in the cake pop. And I like to wipe off the excess candy melts so it doesn't change the shape of the cake pop. Okay, so here I have candy melts and I'm going to mix these two colors together to make a pretty pink color. So I like to add a pot of water on the stove and then add a cake pan inside the pot to melt the candy melts. I like to do it this way rather than the microwave because it's more consistent and I feel like when I put them in the microwave it can overheat the candy melts and then once you overheat the candy melts you can't use them anymore. So this uh, technique has been the most successful way to melt down the candy melts. Okay, so now I need to thin out the candy melts because it's super thick and if I were to dip the cake pop in here, it would just fall off. So I like to use vegetable oil. I've heard you can use like coconut oil or whatever kind of oil you want to use. I like to use the vegetable oil. It still tastes really good. So I like to pour a little bit in there and just start to thin out the candy melts um, to get the perfect consistency.
This is a perfect example of how the candy melt consistency should look. Okay, so I had the cake pops inside the fridge and I took them out about 10 minutes before I was going to dip them. And that is because if they're too cold um, and you place them inside a hot candy melt, they will start to crack. And so you don't want the cake pops to be too cold and you also don't want the candy melts to be too hot. So let the candy melts cool down a little bit and let the cake pops get a little bit room temperature, not too much because then they'll start falling off, but just the right amount and then that will avoid a lot of cracking with your cake pops. So now I'm going to dip the cake pops and then I just wanted to add some sprinkles on top. Okay, so now I'm going to make the flowers with pre-made fondant. I bought it at a cake decorating supply store and I'm also using powdered sugar down so it doesn't stick. And then I'm going to use this cutout that I found at that store as well. Um, I bought two different options because I just wanted to make sure I put the cutest flower on the cake pop. And this one was okay, it was, it was cute, but this one here I found at Hobby Lobby. And it also has another tool where it gives you the textured look. And so this was super easy, super cute. I couldn't believe how cute these flowers came out. And they looked really good, so I went with that option. I just wanted to add that this was my first time ever working with Fonda, and this was super, super easy. So if you think, oh my god, Fonda, like that's scary. That's what I thought at first, but when I started to use this, I'm like, whoa, why is it so easy? And I think it also was because I bought the pre-made fondant. So I had this cake pop holder here at the house so I just thought why not use it. So I went ahead and added the flowers inside and then that helped keep it shaped but if you don't have one of these it's okay. You can just turn your flower over facing down and then it still kept it shaped that way as well. Okay, so now I'm going to spray some flowers with some edible gold and I'm going to place these on the white cake pops.
Now I'm going to dip the white cake pops and add on the gold flour. I recommend dipping about three cake pops at a time and then going back and adding the gold flour just so they dry a little bit and they're not sliding off. So since I had the pink cake pops ready, I'm going to go ahead and add on the flour. So I'm just using some candy melts in a piping bag and attaching the flour. Okay, so I felt like these cake pops needed a little something more. So I bought this edible gold glitter and this pump. And then I'm just going to go ahead and spray a little bit of glitter on top on the flour and the top of the cake pop and then I also bought edible gold beads and I'm gonna add that in the middle of the flour and this came out so cute. So I just wanted to mention that I found the glitter, the beads, and the spray pump at a local cake supply store in my area. And just look how pretty that turned out. Like the glitter and the gold and it just looks really really good perfect for a wedding bridal shower or any event And this is how the cake pops turned out. They matched the bridal shower perfectly and everyone loved them. Okay, so now I wanna show you guys how I package the cake pops. I put them in the three inch bag and then I'm going to tie them with the bow with some twine. So here are all the cake pops I made. Um, each box gave me about 30 cake pops. So I had about 60. I had some that didn't make the cut. And that always happens, so it's always good to have extra. And I ended up with 52 cake pops, so I gave all of those to her. And yeah, everyone loved them. They came out good. They look perfect at the dessert table. So if you guys make these cake pops or you like them, let me know. If you make them, tag me on Instagram. I want to see. And if you have any questions, leave them down below and I try to get back to everyone. Okay, so if you guys can just hit that like button. If you like this video, leave me a comment down below. Also, subscribe to my channel. I would love that. I'm trying to grow this YouTube channel this year. And so if you could subscribe, that would help me out so much. Also leave any video ideas down below and thank you guys so much for watching and until next time guys, bye!